you can always make large language model know about the data they are not trained over with by passing that data into prompt. Like here, I ask my chatbot, what's the minimum wage in California? It says $50.50, which is actually 16 today. Uh, so what I did is I just pasted the data into the prompt engineering panel and it didn't got it right. But if you think that data is too long and token wasting, like here is you use 3000 token for just a simple question. You can always try DeFi's knowledge base. Knowledge base is where you process your text data and turn them into indexable and queryable representation. The text data is split into chunks and each chunk is indexed by vector or keyword representation. Whenever you query your chatbot, the query will first go into the knowledge base and turn into the same representation you index your data and look for the chunk that had the most similar representation. That chunk will then be passed into your prompt. So with knowledge base, you no longer need to put tons of data in your prompt. Now let's see how it actually works in DeFi. So here in knowledge, create knowledge. To create knowledge, you can always upload from file, sync from Notion, or crawl from website. Here, I upload a PDF file with minimum wage in the United States. Click on Next. Now we're in text processing page. You can see in chunk setting, we have automatic, where DeFi will split your data by itself. And here we have three chunks. I think this is a bit too long. I want to make sure each chunk has only one state. So click on custom, set the segment identifier into interpunct here, which is what I in fact use to segment different states and click on preview. You can now see each state is perfectly split. If segment identifier is not enough, you can set the maximum chunk size. And here we have chunk overlap which helps chunk in between to preserve a certain level of context. The larger the overlap, the more context will be preserved. Minimum wage may not be the best case to show what is chunk overlapping, but like I said, chunk overlapping can be helpful when you don't want the indexed chunk to be too independent from the whole text dataset. And practically, it can help eliminating confusion and improving performance of large language model. Okay, once chunks are created, you need to index them. In high quality mode, each of your chunk is indexed using vector representation and stored in vector database. So every time you query your chatbot, the query will first be embedded into vector representation and the vector database will find the closest vector of the chunk. And if you connect the re-rank model like I did with Jenna here, the rank of vector index chunk will be reconsidered by re-rank model based on your query. If your query is largely dependent on keywords, you can use full text search here, which will only use re-rank model to index the chunk. To use both strategies at the same time, you can choose hybrid search where you can put different weights on semantic and keyword indexing. You should always choose different strategies on different tasks. And the way you split your data into chunk can also be relatable to the query performance. If you don't want to consume any token or if you think solely keyword searching is good enough, you can choose economical mode, which is free, but only supports representing data chunk by high frequency keywords. Now click on save. And once your data is embedded, go to document, click on your data. You can always add metadata or description here. And to add any new chunk, click add chunk. And to use different segment settings, click here to see how is your knowledge base query performing go to retrieval test and leave anything you want to ask what's the minimum wage in california testing and it got it right california has a top score but somehow it retrieved three chunks 
So that's because in the retrieval setting, I set the top key here into three, which means I want three most relevant chunk to be passed into my prompt. The score threshold here is to exclude that chunk if it's below certain score. Remember, always make sure your embedded model is available and different embedded model can have different performance on query and index. Try to use retrieval tests to find the best model for your task. And that's pretty much of it. Uh, so if you want to create any new data set, go to add file here. And in the next video, I will show you how to use knowledge base in your own project.